All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Today, we're gonna be doing another one of these Way 2 Godzilla classic action figures. This is Godzilla 2016. Of course, we know this is Shin Godzilla. And look how incredible this looks. We just recently did a really awesome NECA figure. And this is gonna be a Playmates one. And then I definitely wanna take a look to see just how awesome this one is. And um, yeah, it looks pretty incredible. There's four other ones in the set. But um, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on and take a look at this one. So guys, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you are watching from. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up. So if you like Godzilla, give us a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get started. What do you say? Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Gigi. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight, don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV on Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, let's go ahead and dive right on in. These action figures look absolutely phenomenal. And of course, this is wave two, again, of the Playmates action figures, the Godzilla classic toys. And so here we have Destroya, Godzilla, Shin Godzilla. We have Space Godzilla and we have Gigan 2004. And they look absolutely incredible. They look so amazing. Give you a quick little glimpse. Look at this. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Look at how incredible these bad boys look. What do you say we open them up? And then I'll let you pick which one we actually do in what order. But take a look at the back. They all have the exact same back on there. And if they look anything like this, which we can see they do, they're going to look absolutely incredible. Look at that. So there's all you need to know. And let's get these bad boys open. So if you're like me, you're itching to do... Um, for sure, Shin Godzilla, it's Godzilla 2016. Maybe even Space Godzilla, Gigan looks absolutely amazing. Now, I am definitely don't wanna leave this guy out, he looks phenomenal. But, let's go ahead and start with our, um, um, Shin Godzilla, let's start with him, what do you say? They all look so great that I can't even decide which one. So, here we go, Godzilla. 2016, again, also known as Shin Godzilla. Look at this beautiful package. The package from all four of these action figures looks the same. Now, I will say this, it looks like Playmates um, got the rights to release this second wave, because before this, you'll see it was Bandai, and this packaging looked very similar, but these were red, and it had the older Godzilla right here. And off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but I'll go ahead and show that somewhere on here if I remember to edit <laughs> that part of the video in. Look how great this looks right here. And so, yep, look at this Toho company right there. Looks absolutely amazing. And let's pop them on out. There's nothing in here. And what we can actually do is cut these from right here. And honestly, I don't really want to cut a whole lot of them off because I'm going to wait to not destroy this package. There we go. And can I slide him out? No, I'm not gonna be able to just slide him out. But, let's see. Maybe I can sneak this out here. That didn't work. <laughs> All right. There we go. And, let's see if his big old feet, talons, nope, gotta cut those two. All right, let's see if we can so there isn't going to be anything I can slide out. I was hopeful, I was optimistic, and not going to happen. So let me just cut these carefully right here. Look, his tail's going to be extra long. That's for sure. And I don't want to damage my Godzilla either, so let me be careful about how I cut this. Let's see. There we go. Man, come on, scissors. There we go, if I can just sneak that in there. Mm. There we go. And it's like these 
scissors are flimsier than I thought. Look at that. So I have to push up here and down there. All right, got him on out. And now let's get this last piece from his Ooh, that part I was able to slide right out. I'll tell you that much. That's great. Okay, set that box aside. And we should be able to just slide this, uh, pop this right on in. Ah, there we go, look at that. And this one, this shouldn't be as hard to get on as like those NECA figures and these snap on a whole lot easier. Look at that. Okay, let's take a look at the articulation and mobility we have here. So the neck turns side to side like that. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Nothing else on the head moves. This is just because it's soft plastic. Let's see. This uh, arms move only like at the shoulder as a you turn around like this. You do not move out. This is just softer plastic. And then the legs, they go back and forth this much from here to here. So this is the full extent of this leg because it looks like it hits right here. Okay, there's no knee movement, but there is ankle movement, look at that. And these are soft plastic too. So, let's see, the tail. I'm like, I'm not breaking it, am I? Because it looks like it's supposed to turn. Last thing I want to do is break that. So, let's, I can clearly turn it here, around. And clearly pivot a little bit here, look at that. This doesn't really pivot, but it does turn like that. And then although this looks like it's supposed to move, um, I don't think so. It looks like it is snapped on there. I'm afraid if I, I'll crack it off. So if it's supposed to move, go ahead and comment that below, but um, I'm more afraid I'll crack it off. Look at this soft spikes right here. Looks absolutely great. So let's get a really awesome pose. How's that? And man, look at that. Let's get right on in here. Okay, let's get it in focus. Look how great that looks. That looks absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Looks so great. You know what? Let me see if I can compare this to our NECA figure. Now, granted, these are definitely a different uh, price ranges. So, and they're also different classes and different um, action figure makers, but let's go ahead and compare it anyway. Let me see if I can find it. It'll take me a second. Give me a second, guys. Be right back. Okay, found them. Well, here we are. And remember, these two action figures are, you know, roughly the same figure, but this is a huge price difference. Where this, you'll probably find for 12, and this bad boy you're gonna find more like the 20 to 30 dollar range depending on where you get it so this action figure is what we're reviewing today looks great he's lightweight he's inexpensive but still looks great and then this right here of course is your NECA figure he's got tons more articulation look at that and the mouth does move and pivots here and there but just to give you a quick little comparison I'm gonna bring this down right here you know obviously depends on what you're looking to collect well I want to collect both of them look they're roughly the same length and height although our playmates figure is bigger uh, the tail is almost exactly the same length look at that here's a comparison from the front and this one of course the legs do go in and out so there is a big difference but that'll give you an idea right there to compare the two this isn't about which figure is better this is about collecting these two for different reasons and different price ranges so and then of course this is for a more advanced collector that's definitely um, this figure although can articulate so much better and so on it is gonna be a tad bit more fragile than for example this one this one's gonna take a beating if uh, he's gonna be played with a lot so I wouldn't expect body parts to be falling off there where here if we're too rough with the arms it might come off so um, this is on this one this is what the package looked like just to give you an idea for all those collectors out there we did this 
action figure review not too long ago. Look how beautiful that looks in there. So we'll set that one aside. That's a comparison and not a review. But this one right here, definitely reviewing this bad boy right here. So let me know what you think. And I can't wait to show you the other ones in this set. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and set up our Shin Godzilla right here. And let's have him anxiously awaiting our next action figure. Okay. So, next we're going to do... Uh, let's go ahead and do Space Godzilla. 